Welcome to Amy Learns to Cook. We're going to make homemade ranch dressing. So last weekend I hosted a gathering and I made a salad bar. And as part of that salad bar, I made my homemade ranch dressing and it was a big hit. Everybody asked for the recipe. So we're going to do that today. So join me cooks. Let's make homemade ranch dressing. So I'm gonna use these bowls that I got. You guys saw these when I got these from Sam's Club. I love these bowls. I've been using them all the time. So we're gonna start out and mix our herbs. Now ranch dressing classically has a little dill, a little parsley, some garlic. How much you use is just a personal preference. Um, I have some parsley here that I freshly washed. You want to make sure that you use some nice, you can use tap water, but just use nice cold water. It'll wash them and refresh them all at once. When I'm making this, I usually don't have like a specific amount that I'm using. I just sort of grab some and go, right? And if I feel like after putting the herbs in the bowl that I want a little more, then I just chop a little more. Very inexact for those people who love exact, exact measurements. But, you know, that's just how I roll, right? So we're gonna go ahead and give these a really good chop. relatively finely. You don't want to be eating your dressing. Don't turn it into mush, but you'd also don't want to eat your dressing and you got like big old pieces of parsley stuck in your teeth. <laughs> that looks good. Maybe I want just a wee bit more. What do you think, boo? I don't know. Do I want to stuck it through my teeth? Would, look, <laughs> would I look sexy that way? You would. All right. Nothing sexier than your date having parsley stuck in your teeth, right? <laughs> Why do I got to be weird like that, right? Chopping it like that. Because that's how the rest of us in the world chop. One handed. <laughs> we, don't, we don't know what we're doing, we just chop. Okay. And this is some fresh dill. Ooh. Oh, that smells so good. Again, how much you use is just personal. I don't know, the nice enthusiasts enthusiast are probably looking at me like, why is she cutting like that? <laughs> I can't watch this aberration of knife skill. Yeah. Oh my God, it's terrible. Ooh. Oops, sorry about that. I had to wash my hands real quick. Get all that excess herbs off of there. So garlic. You can do as you like with the garlic, right? Um, I think I put in like four cloves before. And that's four cloves, except that one doesn't look too great. I'm just gonna cut the ends off like that, peel them. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a little, I have some sea salt, a little bit of coarse ground sea salt in here. Just give me a little friction, right? And we want this minced up like really good. So 
however you do this. You could technically use a garlic press with this. Um, you can, a lot of people use the side of their knife, which when I get this broken down, I'm probably gonna use the side of my knife a little bit. It kind of depends on how soft your garlic is, because sometimes my garlic is like hard. So <laughs> the side of my knife doesn't do that great of a job. But you just, you want to mince it out and like really fine mince. Because you don't want to be having dressing and get this little chunk of garlic in there. Or if you do want a chunk of garlic in there, go for it, right? <laughs> what I say about cooking all the time is it's your dish. You can squish it like this, but see, I have trouble with that because the garlic's hard and I don't have enough strength to wield my knife over it. I got a mallet outside, think that'll work? <laughs> so I'm just gonna keep mincing it until I get a really fine mince on it. So that, that looks pretty good. So let me go grab the rest of the ingredients. Okay, now to put our other ingredients in. So we have a cup of mayo. So ranch dressing, the base of it is mayonnaise. Um, some people don't realize that because you really can't taste it like it's the taste of mayonnaise, but the base of ranch is mayo. So I suppose if you wanna lighten this up a little bit, you can do so by using light mayo, but you're gonna have to adjust a lot of the other uh, flavorings because that brings some weird flavorings to things. So we're going three quarters of a cup of sour cream. Yeah. If you put a little more sour cream in there, I won't tell anyone. Yeah, you can go. You can go up to a one-one-one ratio. Um, some reason I do a quarter, three quarters of a cup. Everybody seemed to like that. So we're going one cup of buttermilk. for a buttermilk ranch. I'm gonna put a very little squeeze of lemon juice, just a little. You can put a little bit of vinegar if you like more vinegar taste. Well, put a lemon juice. Vinegar taste? Yeah, if you want a little vinegar, you can put a little vinegar. I just put a little bit of lemon. Little squeeze of lemon. Mm. Mm. Just stir it up. Mm. That's beautiful. Beautiful. Wow. And in that simple, easy, we have homemade ranch dressing. Look at that. Looks lovely. Mm -hmm. So let's put it in some jars. <laughs> Tacos. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put this into a couple mason jars. <laughs> I don't want to spill it on myself. If you have one of those canning uh, things, uh, the funnels, which I do have one, but it's not in front of me, so this is what we're getting, right? <laughs> So these are just your garden variety uh, mason jars. We're not canning this. I'm just using this for storage. Woo! 
So let me go ahead and wipe the rim here. So this is gonna thicken up a little bit in the refrigerator. Eric tested and we're at like 50 degrees. So in the refrigerator, it will uh, thicken up some. So don't worry about that. I'm gonna use these plastic mason jar lids. Oh, yeah. There we go. Two jars of homemade ranch dressing wine. Yay. So hope you enjoyed this recipe and um, let me know what you think. Thanks for joining me. Yum, yum, boo. I gave you a thumbs up. Yeah. Unfortunately, I can't taste this because I'm allergic to dairy. So when I make this kind of recipe, I'm relying on him to tell me how it tastes. So you can change it up a little bit. Put vinegar, lemon juice, whatever you want. Increase the sour cream. However you like it, that's how it's best, right? So I hope you enjoy.